This week is going to go down as one of the biggest weeks in human history. Hi, I'm Dylan Jovene from Behind the Markets, and I just wanted to say something very, very big happened this week, and you know, barely anybody covered it. It's really remarkable. U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall flew in an F-16D that was a strictly controlled by AI. The first American ever to fly in an AI plane, a Lockheed Martin F-16D, completely controlled by AI. It made its own decisions. It went up against, in a dogfight, one controlled by a person, and it made excellent decisions. This AI plane by Lockheed Martin, this is going to be, this is an absolute game changer. This happened at Edwards Air Force Base. And for those of you guys that are interested in this kind of stuff, you should really check it out. You know, they have little pictures of, of what was happening there. It's mind boggling, actually. So this general felt so comfortable flying in an AI plane. He made himself a passenger in this plane and this plane competed as well as a human pilot. I mean, what does this mean for the future of warfare? You know, one thing is, you know, from my point of view is we're going to see a future where these are all autonomous. This is going to be like drone wars. There's going to be a future where AI program planes, drones, delivery systems, it's all going to be who controls or who has the best software and the best chips to make the best identify target and kill decisions out there. So this is actually for the first time we can really, really see how powerful software is going to be actually in war fighting. This is the big, big thing. And, you know, you got to hand it to former President Donald Trump because, you know, like him or not, he was the first person that really started putting, you know, basically not allowing China to buy our chips, to really block China from getting our chips that enable this high powered AI software. And credit to, to Biden for not only following through on those initial chip restrictions, but ramping them up and really blocking, even going further, not allowing American private equity funds to even invest in Chinese companies. <clears throat> that do anything related to AI or quantum. So he's really ramped up these restrictions. What it shows is that the administration understands that the key to the next 50, 100 years for our children, grandchildren, and their children, great-grandchildren, for us, America, to maintain its advantage, we have to keep investing in software and these AI chips. But ladies and gentlemen, this week, mark it on your calendar, this is the day, this is the week, the era that we first entered, the era of AI aerial warfare. And things are never going to be the same. The military is going to look a heck of a lot different in the next 10, 20 years than it did in our lifetimes. Have a good day.